This is a live Channel's television event. Good morning to you and welcome to the final day of the five day screening of the ministerial nominees here in the Senate chamber. Three more nominees to go and the first has just taken to uh, taking his stand. He is Maman Saleh. Before this, the Senate had a few issues. One of them is that a petition was submitted by uh, the minority whip, Senator Philip Aduga over the exclusion of the FCT from the list of ministerial nominees. Three nominees, as I said, will be screened today. They are Saleh Maman, Musa Sanono, and Lai Mohammed. Senior Saleh Maman, the nominee from Taraba State. Musa nominee, on behalf of all my colleagues here, I want to welcome you to the Senate Chamber and we are already a receipt of the copies of your CV. You can choose to highlight anything you feel the Senate needs to take note of and should you have omitted anything that you feel is of significance and consequence for this exercise, you could also highlight that. Once again, you are welcome and you can speak and address the Senate. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. President of the Senate, Deputy President of the Senate, Principal Officers, Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, uh, Senators from my states, led by distinguished Senator Emmanuel, distinguished Senator Yusuf Ye Yusuf, distinguished Senator Chaibu Yisalao, and uh, let me also identify and extend my gratitude to one of the senators who is also my former boss and uh, my friend, uh, of which I serve and uh, was a consultant under one of his businesses, that is engineering, Dr. Udo Jikalu, and uh, one or two senators that I work under them. Those people are detrabalized people that I can testify before this honorable Hello, Chambers. Let me also recognize the presence of uh, my state chairman and his executive. Engineer. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Leave, leave out your state chairman and his executive. You came along with them. Just address the Senate. With due respect, sir. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy. to be here, to be honored, with great privilege to appear before the distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a ministerial nominee. Permit me also to extend my sincere gratitude to the President and the administration of Muhammad Buhari but permit me also to extend my gratitude to the President of the Senate 
the senators for appearing before the distinguished senators for clearance. Both privileges I appreciate and I will cherish forever. Distinguished senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my CV is before, before you. All my dossier and my political antecedent is here before you. Nevertheless, let me just seize that little opportunity to also highlight a little bit about myself. My name is Engineer Salim Amman. I was born there 1958, 2nd October, in a village called Lao. Lao, local government. And I grew up in Jalingo. I started my education career in Kano. I am a electrical engineer by profession. I started from the scratch. I started from technical and vocational training school and graduated as an artisan, moved to technical college and graduated as a technician, moved to polytechnic and also graduated as technologist, then moved to the university and graduated as a potential engineer. In addition, I also read management course where I graduated uh, and specialized in human resources, master's degree in human resources. Uh, my working experience, I worked with the Taraba State Government for almost 21 years and I retired as Assistant Director, Stroke, Head of Design and Construction. My political antecedents include Pioneer Chairman in the Fund CPC, which now metamorphosed into APC, and uh, I also contested for Senate 2015. I lost. I was a member 2015 Presidential Campaign Council under field operation. Also a member Congress Committee that conduct Congresses that produce 2015 sets in Niger State. Also a member in Kaduna State Congress Committee. I'm also a member of Bwari Support Organization, also a returning officer 2019 presidential election, also a member National Council, National Committee for Bwari Support Organization, an organization that combined almost 250 groups. I was a coordinator in Taraba State Chapter, of which the distinguished president of this Senate was the sponsor. We worked together. He was our sponsor then, and uh, so many others. Yeah, I am also a member of, um, let's say, sorry, a coordinator, a state coordinator 
also a member of Biology Support Organization. And those are my political incidents and dissidents. I think I will stop here, sir. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting at chair. I would like to urge my colleagues. Jina Maman is not a very good orator, but he's a good staff to do the job. Good worker. He's a good worker. He's not a very good person you want to come here and mesmerize you and tell you all kinds of stories. I've worked with him in the engineering field and I believe <laughs> no, 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 I'm just trying to say because you might see him having state fright also. He's not a very good speaker. I'm addressing you. I'm trying to... Please, order. Order. Use your power. So, uh, if they are telling those somebody, you come here and put questions and allow him to showcase skill of talking. This guy is a proper engineer. And I will urge my colleagues to, he had been a very good supporter. Even when I was in PDP, he used to preach for me for President Buhari. <laughs> he had been a very good supporter of President Buhari. He used to take transport from Taraba to come and see me in Abia, to come and sell the candidacy of President Buhari to me. And I mean, this is 1999. I'm sure. Chief Theology, the Senator Theology also knows him very well. So, is somebody we cannot waste his time? Is somebody I'd like to urge my colleagues? I would like to urge my colleagues to please to allow allow the minister, um, uh, ministerial nominee from Taraba to take a bow and go. DSP. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Obi Omo Agege, Delta Central Centuria District. Mr. President, order, I, order. I rise to align myself in so many ways with the Chief Whip of the Senate. Uh, Mr. President, first I want to thank Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, for this nomination. And thereafter, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to Engineer Sele Maman. Uh, Mr. President, even the Bible recognizes that a laborer is entitled to his wages. I have known uh, Engineer Sale for so many years. Just as uh, alluded by the Chief Whip, this is one very loyal, very, very loyal supporter of President Muhammad Buhari. And that support did not begin today. Uh, Mr. President, I had the opportunity yesterday while chatting with some top people to say that the, the, the cabinet, the list of people forwarded to the Senate for confirmation for membership of the Federal Executive Council, you can actually describe it as a cabinet of true believers. Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari is entitled to work with the people of his choice. Elections, we are told, has consequences. He has elected to appoint Engineer Saleh 
as a minister. Like I said, this may not be his uh, best moment. I've interacted with him severally. We have worked together, uh, even in the uh, committee on National uh, Committee on Buhari Support Group. I know that Engineer Saleh will add value to deliberations in the Federal Executive Council. And finally, Mr. President, there's so much fatigue here already. We've been on this nomination for how many days now? People are already tired. <laughs> are we not tired? We are tired. So therefore, Mr. President, I'm going to appeal, appeal that uh, we allow Engineer Saleh may be subject to comments by people from his home state to take a bow and go. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Teodoro Oji, Uchendo, Global. Your Excellency, our President in Chair, uh, very, very distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator T. A. Oji, Uchendo. Well, what will I say? <laughs> Just to align myself oh. <laughs> with what my colleagues have said. Uh, the Chief Whip mentioned my name. Uh -huh. I won't deny that. Uh -huh. I know him very well. Exactly. Will I come now and say I don't know him? Uh -huh. He will perform when he goes there. Exactly. Therefore, I will say that he should take a bow exactly. and decide to stay or go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Senator Mohamed Njuma Goji. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I am Mohamed Njuma Goji, presenting Gombe Center. My own is just to first associate myself with previous speakers and thanking Mr. President for picking this very special professional. And going by CV as an engineer, the president has made a good choice because he has come from a place that is the most inaccessible part of Nigeria. Roads leading to Jalongo from all sections of the country are very, very bad. And he's the right man, if we're lucky, maybe you go to Ministry of Works. If you go to Minister of Work as somebody who knows how to live in a very inaccessible area, how do you think we will solve the problem of road network in Nigeria? Thank you. You can respond. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, distinguished Senator. Uh, as a former sectional head of uh, electrical design and construction under Ministry of Works. What I used to know, when this type of issue erupt, uh, we usually come together, a team of engineers, uh, electrical engineer, structural engineer, quantity surveyor, uh, architects sit together and now put down the problem before the before the, 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 the committee and now discuss also and uh, seek advice from the civil engineer who is the professional and then his field, and uh, and I believe at the end of the day we share the the resolution, and then maybe come out with something very tangible. It has been our problem for decades. This road, it has been there. I don't know whether maybe we don't have good representative from the federal government. Maybe this time around. But the case of our road 
something very pathetic, something that I don't want to say much about it. I don't know why and how. And uh, that, is, that is all I can say, sir. Thank you very much. Senator Emmanuel Buacha, the Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Yusuf Abubakar Yusuf, and Senator Shaibu Yusalo, in that order, please. Thank you, Mr. President. Meeting uh, as the Chair. Mr. President, very distinguished colleagues, we are in unanimous agreement to support this nominee. And let me say a few words, Mr. President uh, and Chairman. The nominee, distinguished colleagues you see before us today, is a thoroughbred prof professional. Let me slightly uh, disagree with the whip that it's not as if Engineer Maman doesn't talk. He, he doesn't blab. Number two, I want to inform us the danger with most of these people that come and talk a lot. They end up being the worst ministers. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. Why? So let us apply wisdom. Okay. In addition, Mr. Chairman, this nominee has no PDP DNA. He is among the few, 20%, in the, in the APC that are co-APC members, including you, Mr. Chairman. I'm not talking of those that we donated to the APC, and most of which are seated there. And you know they are faster in making making noise, <laughs> in a hurry to defend the APC. But the hardcore APC, we know them. Yes, like this is one of them. We know them. We know them. Like, we know them. This like is them. one of them. A careful perusal at this resume reveals a lot of things. I know much about the nominee. In fact, he sits in the board of the Federal University of Cali, uh, whose bill, by the grace of God, will expeditiously pass on exemption, I'm sure, in September or October. So what I'm trying to say is he is somebody that you can trust. Very consistent. Very consistent. If it comes to schooling us in the art of loyalty. He's not a political tourist. No. I am so happy and this is what we have presented to you as a caucus. But let me say that we have also agreed as a caucus that each and every one of us should have just one question to ask him so that all of you will know that we are moving as a state. So, so. Okay. Our, our, our understanding was all of you to allow him bow, provided, provided you are in agreement with us. If that is okay, if that is okay by you, we are happy, but not the kind of ah that comes from our political tourists to APC. That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Chairman. Here is Engineer Saleh Mama. Thank you very much. Senator Yusuf, Awoka Yusuf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, distinguished colleagues. Uh, Engineer Saleh Mama is one of us. He's a brother. He has done very, very well for the people of Tarawa State. As you can see from his profile, he's an engineer, an astute one, electrical engineer. And in addition to that, he's an excellent organizer of events, organizer of resources, organizer of human resources and what to do. So he's one of us. We cannot have a better as presented before us today. However, as my other colleagues have said, yes, he, he may be a slow talker. Some of us are, but he's an excellent performer. He has done very well. 
His record in Taraba State Government over the years will show how, how, she's been, how she has performed very, very well. Politically, she has done very, very well. He contested, you know, to be a senator, but God did not wish him to be one. But probably God wish him to be a minister in the regime of Muhammad Buhari. But what I will say, I concur with what my senior colleague has said. But what I will urge him to do, I want to pray for him so that he does not have a slip of tongue that will put him as somebody who is not loyal to Mr. President, somebody who is not loyal to the government of Nigeria, and who is not loyal to the party. I thank you very much, my colleague. I would also urge, as agreed by the whole house, we thank you, and we want to ask him to bow and go. Thank you very much. Senator Shai Wissalo. Thank you, Mr. President, sitting in a chair. My distinguished colleagues, Isa Shai Bulao, representing Karabano. Mr. Chair, I want to first start by thanking God Almighty for <laughs> this nominee. I want to thank Mr. President for finding this nominee, this loyal ANPP, CPC, and APC party loyalists to the core. Mr. President, before I go further, I want to seek and plead for your special protection and for my colleagues' protection. As I said, this nominee is my childhood friend whom we go to primary school day in, day out. He has one problem, that today, with your protection, I want him to beg for forgiveness. When we are going to primary school, Mr. Chair and my colleagues, each time we, need, we are in a class and we are given a simple arithmetic test, when I score first, after the school, he will stop on the road <laughs> and start bullying me. <laughs> yeah, he was stronger than me then. I was smallish in size, but I was a class monitor. And one of the best in the class. He is a very able and competent person. He is very, very reliable. My colleagues, I want to thank you for agreeing with Taraba Kapos that this nominee takes a bow and go. Thank you. <laughs> So that he will not be too Mr. Again. Chairman, he did not promise that he will never in his life again terrorize me. <laughs> I thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, my colleagues. Right, my colleagues. <laughs> thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. Is it the wish of the Senate that he takes a bow and go? Yes. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have taken a bow. Well, there you have it. The ministerial nominee from Taraba State, Tale Maman, after responding to one question on uh, what he would do if he is assigned to the Ministry of Works uh, to solve the road network, as asked by Senator Danjuma Goje, takes a bow and leaves on the requests or pleas of many of the senators. At least 90% of the senators who spoke about him requested that he takes a bow and goes. In his um, resume, he 
is a, an, an electrical engineer, he's a technician, a technologist, holds a master's degree in human resources, and he's also the former chairman of the CPC, that's the Congress for Progressive Change, which is one of the parties that merged to form the All Progressives Congress. He boasts of being a member of the Buhari Support Organization, and uh, he's a returning officer for the 2019 presidential election, described by Senator Oju Zokalu as a good staff, though not a good orator, but uh, a very good staff. It's day five of the ministerial screening in the Senate. Two more nominees to go, Sabu Nanunu from Kano State and Lai Mohammed, the former Minister of Information from Kwara State. Forty-one nominees have now been screened. Just to let you know that after now, the confirmation will be done. After all the nominees have been screened, confirmation will be done by voice vote of nay or yay. And that will be done after all 43 nominees have been screened. The Senate will take its long recess eventually after the day ends. Just to bring to your notice one other issue that came up in the Senate before the screening began, and that's the decision of the Senate to urge or order the Edo State Governor to issue a fresh proclamation of the 7th Edo House of Assembly. 